Welcome to Five Fast Facts presented by Chick-fil-A. I'm Sammy Kincaid and this is Mark Daniels. And Mark, we're going to be doing this every week. You'll be giving us five facts on the opponent of what you've been studying for the broadcast. So what have you been studying for FAMU? All right, fact number one, most people know that uh, Florida A&M is based in our state's capital in Tallahassee and a proud football program. 1978, they won the 1AA championship, went 12-1 and that year. So again, part of their rich history of football. 12 and 1, that's pretty tough to do. Hard to do at any time, and they did with a couple of playoff wins that year as well. And what's second on the list? All right, fact number two the only time UCF and Florida AM have played is 1987. Knights traveled to Tallahassee for a football game. They lost that game 1914. Knight fans may remember Darren Slack was a quarterback, big bruising running back, and Mark Giacone, Bernard Ford was the wide receiver. Uh, it was a good UCF football team that went to the playoffs themselves but lost that day. So 32 years later, chance to have revenge for us, Sammy, in this game. Just a little bit of revenge, just a little bit. A little bit later down the road. <laughs> What's third on the list? All right, Willie Simmons, head coach at Florida A&M, is a Tallahassee native. He played college football quarterback at Clemson. He was at Prairie View A&M as their head coach from 2014 to 17. Second year at Florida A&M, they were six and five last year. And what's fourth on the list? All right, quarterback. Ryan Staley is their quarterback, and Staley is a guy that's got experience as a starter. He threw for over 2,500 yards uh, last season, 17 touchdowns. He's a guy that can stay in the pocket and has some talented wide receivers. So he's got some experience. They've got a bunch of running backs back last year that helped him as far as balancing their passing game with a run and as far as picking up the blitz. So he's experienced back there, quarterback for Florida now. You said he can stay in the pocket, but what does he like to do? Can he get outside of the pocket, or is he more of a pocket passer? He's more of a pocket guy. They will use their running backs. They're going to go by committee. they got four guys that are going to help them as far as run the football. So he's a guy that's not a real big run threat. His first year as a starter, he ran for more than 300 yards, but not last year. He had no positive yards rushing last season. And what's fifth on the list? Well, wide receivers. We talked about running backs back, but their wide receivers are really talented. And they bring back just about everybody that caught key passes last year for them. And uh, from Haines City, Xavier Smith caught 52 passes last year. He's a threat to watch. They bring back their top four pass catchers. So they'll go two, three, four wide a lot in the football game and try to spread things out a little bit. So a challenge for UCF is how they cover these talented wide receivers because, again, running back, wide receiver, quarterback, that's all experience for Florida A&M. So they have a good familiarity with what they want to run on offense. So that's a plus for them. Now their offensive line has been rebuilt a little bit. We'll see how UCF's defense can take advantage of that. Would you say Smith is really the one out of those four that really stick out? He's the guy that had the best season last year. He's expected of a good season this year, but they're all talented receivers. They bring back a lot of guys that caught passes last year for them, so they won't be afraid to, kind of to try and test UCF secondary early in the football game. Good luck with the broadcast, Mark. And that is our first edition of Five Fast Facts presented by Chick-fil-A. And check us out next week when we cover FAU.